biggest black bear I've ever seen. Look at this claw mark right here. This is an enormous male. He's reached up to here like this and scratched way up there. I can't see a thing that hard. Back off, back off. His head is as wide. That's a sure way of getting killed. I am Manny Puig. I have spent my whole life learning to survive like Tarzan in the most dangerous and primitive wilderness where you can be killed or eaten. I have learned the ways of giant man-eating predators, deadly sharks and reptiles, where every encounter may spell disaster in the savage wild. exploring the most primitive and savage wilderness in Florida in search of an elusive and dangerous predator, the Florida black bear. I consider the black bear here in Florida extremely dangerous. Uh, he's a wide ranging animal. Uh, he covers a lot of territory. It's gonna be hard to find because I have no idea where he's gonna be at. And also they have different personalities. Some are more prone to attack, some will flee when you come to them. Uh, I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm just gonna stalk and be as cautious as I can and get as close as I can to him and try to learn and get into his head and learn as much as I can about the Florida black bear. Take into account half of the people who live in Florida don't even know that the Florida black bear roams out here. They're living in Miami, dancing, whatever over there, and they have no idea. They walk out here into the middle of the forest and they can come face to face with a 500 pound black bear. And where did that come from? You know, no, this animal lives out here. It's a mysterious, uh, magnificent, beautiful, but very dangerous animal. Another thing about this place, it's flat. The woods are very flat, but the dry grounds have pine trees on them. The water grounds have cypress. And so it go goes from dry to wet. And the highest cypress, usually there's a pond in there. And the high, where the cypress is the highest, it's a wetter. The palmetto and the pines are in the drier, and the bear will roam either in the wetland or the dry ground, everywhere. Uh, the rattlesnakes, for example, tend to be in the pine woods and the cotton mouths in the cypress swamp. So each animal, of course, the gators are in the cypress swamp. Every animal has their favorite habitat, but this place is so unusual. It's the only place in the world that you can find like bears and alligators in the same place. Animals that belong to the north woods come face to face with animals from the tropics. It's like north woods and jungles meet. There's no place on earth like it. That's why this place is so wild and so incredible. Right here, this is a bear trail, a game trail where the wild animals move through. You can tell. See right here, it's too thick, thick. They, they kind of walk over the same place over and over again and they build a little path. And when you're stalking a black bear, you want to get on his trail because this is where he's been walking. See, you can see the, mark, the ground is a little bit marked where they've been moving. And since they're lower, they're walking this low, they go right under it like this. This is gonna be very challenging. A bear can see like us, hear like us, but since the smell is so incredible, that it's a saying, if you drop a pin in the forest, an eagle will see it, a deer will hear it, and a bear will smell it. Uh, it's one of the greatest sense of smells in the animal kingdom. I have to, my best bet is to be downwind of the bear. You know, once the bear knows I'm there, uh, a bear may decide not to leave. He may not care that I'm there. Uh, he may, uh, if it's a shy bear, he may run. Understand, bears are not hunted in Florida. It's against the law to hunt bears in Florida. So some of these bears really don't care. Uh, others are just naturally shy, but they've been attacked by other bears. 
Uh, but bears are very intelligent. I'm dealing with a highly intelligent creature in an area where he is hunted, the bear is very elusive. In Florida, they're becoming more and more uh, confrontational towards people because people are encroaching into the wilderness. They had no idea. Oh, I'm gonna get a cabin in the woods. They have no idea who the neighbor's gonna be. Next thing you know, the guy's complaining, screaming, and horrified as a bear breaking into his house, you know. Well, he just entered bear country. And you know, welcome. This is what it's about out here. Some black bears are so vicious, they actually fight and confront the grizzly bears. It's the biggest black bear I've ever seen. He might be getting ready to attack. It's very threatening. I'm exploring the most primitive and savage wilderness in Florida in search of an elusive and dangerous predator, the Florida black bear. Black bears are known to be ill-tempered and unpredictable. This is a very risky thing to do. I need to learn as much as I can about the true nature of this animal, and if possible, get into its head. I haven't seen a bear, but look what I found here. Look at this claw mark right here. This is an enormous male. He's reached up to here like this and scratched way up there. He's marking territory and letting other male bears know that I'm here, this is my territory. If you can't get up here, stay out, because I will kill you. You know, he's, he's dominating this area. He's probably a very dangerous bear because he's a dominant male. He's breeding out here and he doesn't want any intruders in his territory. He's king out here. Look how thick the cypress forest here. Uh, I mean, it, it could be a black bear 10, 50 feet in there, and I wouldn't be able to see him. If I surprise him, he may feel threatened, come out and charge me, do a mock charge, or actually take me down all the way. He's very unpredictable. You don't know what he's gonna do. Black bears and grizzlies, people think, that, well, the grizzlies are bigger, they're tougher and all that. Some black bears are so vicious, they actually fight and confront the grizzly bears. Uh, in Alaska, for example, they're considered more unpredictable than the grizzlies, and some people fear them more than the grizzlies. Do not underestimate the black bear. People think, well, if you see a black bear, what am I gonna do, run? No, if you run, you act like prey, he's gonna jump on your back and bring you down. Climb a tree, he can climb a tree faster and better than you can. Their technique is to chase a rival up a tree and then throw him down from the tree and bring him to the ground and rip him to pieces. Best thing to do, don't get too close to the black bear. Uh, walk away slowly and stay stand tall and face him and do not run and just give him space and separate your distance between him and you and that is probably the best move you can do. This palmetto is noisy. If I come through here, I'm going to make a lot of noise. I try to stay on a trail and I a bear will hear me uh, a mile away. Another thing is a bear moving through here, if he can move slow through here, he doesn't make any noise. He can creep through here. But if he moves fast, he makes a rush through here, he will sound off. So I'll know that he's in the vicinity. A bear or another large wild animal is jumping through. Bear has a very good sense of smell because he lives in a dense forest. He can only see so far in here. So he needs his sense of smell to find uh, where the food is. Uh, if it's a dead animal or if it's honey or fruits, whatever, he, he depends on his nose. You know, he can smell food to say a mile away if the wind is right. And then he'll work his way to it. Bear track. Wow. Now this is what I'm looking for. Now I'm feeling better. I know this bear is in the area now. This is evidence, it's proof. It's fresh too. So he couldn't have been here too long ago. 
I mean, this is his front paw right here. You can see the, the toes right there, a couple of claws are right there. This is the width of his foot. So imagine a paw like that coming in here. That's a formidable thing. Uh, take into account, this is just uh, the beginning. Uh, it takes at least 400,000 acres of wilderness to support a healthy bear population. So that's a huge area. It's a wide ranging animal. Uh, you know, they're not just a dime a dozen everywhere, you know, it's, and they can hide right there anywhere. So I'm gonna have to really, really do an effort and, you know, and search this area out real good and do everything to the best of my ability to find one of these bears and keep as safe as I can while I'm doing it. These woods are really thick. Uh, the undergrowth is very heavy here, but this is what the bears like to hide in. This is where they're at. I try to move through here without making any noise. It's critical, but it's almost impossible to move through this thick forest without making any noise. To get close to wildlife, this area is all about smelling and hearing. That's all they go by. So I'm having a real tough time uh, in the daytime trying to locate some bears. I may have to go at night. I just got word that there's this is huge bear prowling around. He might be getting ready to attack. He's very threatening. He's about 600 pounds, man. He just did a charge at us in the darkness. It's the biggest black bear I've ever seen. To me, I consider the Florida black bear to be the most dangerous thing that roams these woods. He's probably a very dangerous bear because he's a dominant male. He's breeding out here, and he doesn't want any intruders in his territory. He's king out here. I just got word that this is huge bear prowling around the forest over there at night. We're gonna go check it out. This place is dense and thick in the daytime, and at night, I don't know, we're going into a nightmare because I, I mean, I can't see my hand inside this forest. I'm gonna to try to see if I can hear the bear walking around there and try to get as close to them as I can. I mean, curious to see how this bear is gonna react at night. Um, I don't know what he's gonna do. Bear, black bears are 100% unpredictable. He's 
thinking that he's feeding, he's trying to feed on scrubs or something. He's thinking. start hearing that threatening noise and he started boom, boom, pounding the ground and I said let's get back here he comes man he came back forward like that and I said he stopped right there but I thought he's gonna keep coming when that happens the best thing to do is just get behind a tree and that creates like a natural barrier for some reason there's something in the way if it's open between you and him he'll come to you I like that I'll jump behind a tree or something I carry this I wouldn't use this but if anything I'd use the back end as a barrier. It could be, I don't know, he's in here somewhere. Somewhere, just, just look for a black shadow coming at you out of the dark. So I'm looking for a black shadow. It's bare, it's huge. What he's eating, I can't get close enough to him because I'm, you know, I'm not gonna go in there and move him out of way. Look what he's eating because he's going to kill me. And then he, he sniffs the air, he gets his head down, sniffs the air, he takes off, he starts winning us, and then he starts doing his mock shark stumping. They do like that, and that's a warning telling you, stay away or I'm gonna kill you. The bear rather scare you first. If that doesn't work, he may try his something else like mauling you clawing you and, uh, and killing you. This time, I saw it. I saw his mood change, and he lowered anyone like that. He smacked his shoulder into the trees. It's like his way of intimidating. 
basically. I still hear him back there. It's his way. He's trying to intimidate me. And he is. He does intimidate me. I don't want to get, you know, right next to him like this because he's going to take me down. Uh, yeah, this is so eerie to go in there. It's so dark. And the minute he moves, he's off this little light and I don't even know where he's at. And he starts circling around there. And I, all I can do is listen for him. It doesn't get any more savage. It doesn't get any more wild than this night to go into the densest swamp, the darkness of darkness, and come face to face with uh, black bears in their territory, deep into the swamp. I hope your heart was pounding as hard as mine, and I'm glad you're here to experience the savage wild with me.